What's up everybody, it's your boy Neil here. For breakfast, I didn't really know what, I'm I'm just saying random things. Uh, my hair looks stupid right now because I need a haircut and the way I do my hair is fine when I have shorter hair, but when I have longer hair, longer hair. I used to have way longer hair than this if you look at my older videos, but it's relatively long. Um, when I have longer hair, there's like a, a stupid, stupid tuft um, of hair and it sucks. Um, so yeah, my hair looks silly, um, but you know, I woke up at seven today. I exercised at a pretty, for me, a pretty um, small exercise. Um, I walked for an hour and 49 minutes. I walked six miles. I burned 100, 674 calories and my rubber chart was 122. Um, I really just did the exercise so then I would close my move goal today. Today's not really a heavy exercise day. I just, it was the vibe, you know? Um, but yeah, I don't know. Nothing else is really going on. I came upstairs, I brushed my teeth, took a shower. Um, my dad made some iced coffee for himself and a big, like a pound of coffee. Um, and so I had some of that for my coffee today because in each batch of cold brew that he makes, he typically lets me have a glass or two, which I'm happy about. Um, but yeah, that was, that was cool. I had a banana as well and a hard boiled egg for breakfast and that was pretty tasty. Um, for lunch, for lunch, I had a, um, that was pretty much it. That was like brunch. I had it at like 1130. Um, and for dinner, I'm not too sure what we're having. There aren't really plans. We might have frozen pizza or something. I don't know. Um, today, uh, I got on my computer and I tried updating my system and I was having a really weird issue where it was saying like, oh, you don't have enough space. And I was like, oh, weird. I must have downloaded too many packages and my, um, my root partition is too full. Uh, so, you know, I was recording my video. I was talking about how I was planning to like very spookily load Arch onto a, a removable USB, you know, removable USB onto a, you know, USB flash drive and like very scarily, you know, resize the size of my volume groups on my, um, uh, LVM on Lux thing, um, that I have set up. Um, but, you know, as I ran DF-H, you know, in front of you guys, which you guys didn't see this, I saw that my uh, boot partition actually wasn't, that, that my uh, that my root partition actually wasn't um, uh, full at all. It was like at like 30% usage. And my home partition was at like 40% usage. And I was like, that's weird. Um, so then I looked at the error again and it was like, oh yeah, you're having an issue with your, um, with your boot partition. And I was like, what? So I stopped recording. Um, and so it turns out my boot partition is too small. Um, it's 200 megabytes, which is fine, but um, you know, it's a little too small to have um, an init RAM FS like Linux and an init RAM FS Linux fallback at the same time. Um, and mine currently exists, but it can't do an update and like update the init RAM FS uh, without like running out of storage. Um, so a very, very, very scary solution that I did was I just removed my fallback in at RAMFS from my boot, um, <laughs> from my boot partition, um, which isn't a good solution. I should have resized my volume groups, but, or no, I should have resized my, my Lux partition generally, but, um, it's honestly, I don't know, it's not that big of a deal which I feel bad saying, and you know, now I have a fallback in at RAMFS again, but next time I restart my, uh, next time I update my system and that results in an in at RAMFS change, it's gonna make another fallback and I'm gonna have to delete that. I don't know, it's very spooky, but it's only spooky for a few seconds and it's not really that much of an issue, but I should have made my boot partition larger and at some point I'll probably do that. Um, I think my dad might be painting or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have online school in like 21 minutes, which kind of sucks, but you know, what can you do? Um, we're going to be doing a presentation for our group project. Uh, uh, and that won't be too difficult. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to have my Linux class and that's going to be boring. It's going to be really boring. Um, but that's
that's fine. Oh, today's Pi Day. Yeah, today's Pi Day. Happy Pi Day, you guys. Um, I think like four years ago or something, like five years ago, I made a thumbnail uh, on Pi Day where um, it was sort of like a, a you know, on books, they have, like, th those, like, 50-pointed star stickers, like, those golden, like, 50 or 75-pointed stars, and they're, like, circles, but they just have little spikes on the edge, and they have, like, something in the... It's, like, a badge, you know? It's, like, a... It's, like, a badge. Um, I made something that sort of looked like that, um, and it had a pie symbol in the middle, so it was, like, a pie badge, um, and that was pretty cool. I liked that concept for thumbnail. Um, sorry, there's some people outside. Um, yeah, it's pretty sunny outside. Almost no clouds. There's kind of like wispy cloud. Like it's not bright blue. You know, it, the clouds are making the sky a little um, whiter than normal. But other than that, you know, it's pretty sunny. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope everybody has a good day. And um, where's my mouse? Okay, yeah. See you, dude.